What's up guys? I wanted to jump on here real quick and film a quick video for you guys. I know there's been a lot of questions about uh, ways to integrate your uh, the way that you get leads into command. Uh, I know you get leads from a lot of different places. Um, a lot of you have requested um, to know how to get your Zillow leads into command. So this video is specifically for that and yet you can take the lessons that you learned in this video and use it for um, a ton of other different lead generation programs as well. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a program called Zapier. Um, a lot of you, maybe some of you are familiar with PySync. That is um, the, the company that Keller Williams has made an agreement with that links directly with um, command. You can actually access PySync um, on command um, right up here in your settings. But what some of you have realized is that PySync does not integrate with Zillow. It doesn't integrate with, um, I don't believe, like Realtor.com and a couple of other places that you might get your leads from. So if you're wanting to get your leads from Zillow, this is how you do it. You want to go to this URL right here zapier.com and then you'll want to go to the dashboard i will post uh, in the comments section i'm going to post this link um, so you guys have it uh, so you want to go to once you get in logged into zapier set up an account um, you want to click on dashboard right here and we're going to hope this works because this is the first time i'm doing it because I want you guys to see what it's like the first time. So we're going to connect two apps together. What Zapier does is it allows you to take one application and connect it to another application in a multiple, uh, in, ton, in a lot of different ways. So um, the way we're going to do that today is we're going to search for command. Actually, let's search for Zillow first. So Zillow Tech Connect is what you'll find. And then we're going to search for command, Keller Williams Command. It's that simple. So now we're going to say when this happens, when a new contact comes into my Zillow account, I want it to create a lead in my Keller Williams command account. After that, you're going to click on use zap. It's going to take you to this screen to where you can name this zap, whatever you want to name it. We'll say lead in from Zillow to command. All right, so you get a lead in from Zillow, it's gonna go into command. So first, we're gonna test the connection, it's gonna find a contact. Now, if you haven't already set that up, actually I didn't set anything up, it just may remember this from last time, but it may have you log into Zillow, into your Zillow account, so you may have to do that whenever you hit find a connection. That's what it's gonna do here for me on command. So I'm gonna choose the app, which is command, and I'm going to choose the action event, which, like we said before, is create a lead. So what that means is I'm connecting Zillow to Keller Williams. When a lead comes into Zillow, it's going to pull it into KW command, and it's going to create a lead for me. So all of my leads go into the same space. So I'm going to hit continue, and it's going to ask me to sign into KW command. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Yes, continue and hope that that sign in works. Okay, let's try that again. One second, guys. All right, cool, I must have hit a button wrong. So here we go. So we are signed in and now we are, it says Keller Williams Command Account, T Gwen 111.17, that's me. So I'm having uh, leads go from Zillow into Command. I'm gonna hit Continue. And then it's gonna allow me to do something really unique. It's gonna allow me to customize those leads when they come in. So um, it is going to allow me to pick what team I want them to go to. Um, it's going to let me pick um, their full name. So what you're basically what you're doing here is you are referencing the two sources together. So in other words, you want to click here and you want to find 
where the contact information in Zillow is the, the full name. Actually, hang on. For this one, is there a first name, last name? No, there's not. Okay, that's, that's fine. So what you'll want to do is you'll go to full name here because command only operates in full name. It doesn't operate in first name, last name. Um, so what you want to do is click on, first of all, let's see, go down here to contact info, contact name. Uh, this says Beth Homebuyer. I don't really, this is from who knows, an old Zillow account that I don't use. So uh, hopefully yours are actually legitimate leads that aren't Beth Homebuyer. Um, so Beth Homebuyer, that's her full name. And then we're going to look for her email address. So contact info, email address. And again, what you're doing is you're telling this when, essentially you're telling this when this field is filled out in Zillow, contact info, contact name. I want that information to communicate to command and go into command as their first name. I want this information to come from Zillow into the field in command. So you're you're basically uh, you're basically connecting those two fields together. Here is what you're doing. So you can do that. You keep going down through. Let's say they have a phone number, contact info, phone number, right here. Are they a buyer or seller? That may not be information that you have in Zillow, so just leave that empty. You may not have all of this. If you're getting buyers from Zillow, you're not going to have addresses and things like that, most likely. But that's what this is for, is to get their information over to command. So now, uh, it's wanting something from me. Hang on. Oh, okay. Team is required in data sources. Oh, where do I get these leads from? Well, it's not letting me click there. There it goes. Um, okay, so where do I get these leads from? We're going to say Zillow Tech Connect. All right. And then we're going to hit continue. And then what? one thing that you can do as well, once you have this all filled out, you've got both of these accounts linked together, you can hit send test. What that's going to do is it's going to send a test lead into your KW command account to make sure that it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send test. And while that's thinking, if all goes well, that Zillow lead from Zillow should go directly into your leads account right here. And it may take a few minutes, 10, 10 minutes or so, um, but that lead should come directly in right here. Yep, your zap is ready. And then when you're finished, turn it on. And it says it'll be ready momentarily. So that's all you have to do. And when you get leads in your Zillow account, they now will be filtered into your leads right here in command. They'll show up in your Kelly app, so you can call them right from Kelly right when you get your leads into Zillow, and you don't have to put that data in twice, which is a huge deal. Let me know if you have questions. I'm sure you're going to. If you see me around the market center and you're trying to do this, and it's you know it's driving you crazy, stop me. I'd love to help you. Uh, no problem at all. Thanks.